Hello, welcome to the Cozy Corner. Today we're playing more Freedom Planet. Uh, we'll be playing as Carol in this playthrough. Just like last time with Lilac, we're going to be playing in Adventure Mode, though I'm doing, going to be doing things a little bit differently, uh, simply because of the way I played through it. Um, I did not record any commentary while playing through the game, and quite frankly, there's not enough for me to say to fill three more whole playthroughs worth of commentary. I don't want to spend seven hours of my weekend today saying the same things over. So instead, I'm going to do some commentary for the first level here, talk about the character, what's different, that kind of thing. And I'll do the same for Mila and for the time trials with Tork. So, just in case you're wondering, you're not going to see the entire adventure mode storyline playing here through Carol. You want to see that? That's what the lilac place is here. Instead, what I'm doing here is I'm going to get all the cutscenes that are either different or new with that character. So the things you're only going to see when you play as Carol, that's the cutscenes you're going to see. The rest I'm just going to skip through the text really quick, that kind of thing. I, mean, I wasn't exactly sure where everything was, so I didn't like pull out skip scenes most of the time. And we'll do the same with Mila and Torque, just like I said. So, playing through with Carol is pretty different from Lilac. Um, for the first part, she's not as fast as Lilac. Well, she's not intended to be as fast. So Carol has a set of different moves. She has a claw attack, she has a pounce, and she has this roll she can go into when you hold down, just like a Sonic game. Which makes her go pretty fast on a down slope. Now her claw attacks do decent damage. Um, she can combo them really quick, and that's that's the main thing. She's supposed to be agile and fast. She can climb up walls, and there's also a couple other little features you'll find throughout the level when you're playing as Carol. Um, her meter is used by her wild kick attack, which is like a rapid fire kick. Um, it gives you some invincibility when you first use it, so it's useful in that manner. Um, it doesn't do as much damage as you'd think it would. I think they intended Carol to be more of a damage dealer than Lilac, but in practice it just doesn't end up that way. What is cool about her is throughout the level you can find these gasoline cans that give you the motorcycle in here, which increases your mobility and your speed and pretty much everything a lot. Also you get some very funny animations as she's going up ladders and hanging by the freaking motorcycle hanging off of her when she's trying to climb things. It's pretty funny. The motorcycle can also climb up walls, which is pretty rad. Also, you know, doing double front flips. Really can't say that's not pretty cool. Now, the motorcycle does have limited health, but I'm not sure exactly how it works. It can take a certain number of hits, I think. But, um, it seems to last a long time if you know what you're doing. And I think it recovers whatever health it might have when you uh, pick up another gas can, which are not super common, but if you're taking the more efficient routes in the level, seem to find themselves in front of you. Those red pads are like these little nin ninja jumping platforms. You can do some pretty cool stuff with those. You'll find them both in level and during the boss fights. Also, when you're on the ground, uh, your wild kick turns into just like a boost for the motorcycle. Though it doesn't seem to be invincible when it does it, so it seems to be a good way to just damage your motorcycle. And the motorcycle doesn't take to really steep inclines as well as it does to just flat out 90 degree walls. It's kind of funny. Now here you're going to see what I mean by in practice, Carol doesn't seem to do as much damage. I would say the flip on the motorcycle is pretty useful. And she has another attack that isn't immediately noticeable, that's actually her strongest one. When she does her pounce attack, if you do a claw attack right afterwards, she'll actually do a different claw attack, it looks different. And that attack seems to do more damage than all her other attacks. So if you're going for a pure damage, uh, you know, I would go for that attack. Also, you notice her motorcycle gets some little, uh, like a little boat motor when she goes underwater, that's kind of neat.
She's actually very fun to play through, even if she isn't as strong or fast as Lilac. You uh, take to the levels in a very different kind of way. Not as, not as different as with Mila, but different enough to want to play through, I would definitely say. I guess she goes more for agility than speed and power. That'd be the best way to put it. She's your knuckles. But not as slow. Here's the thing with the motorcycle, oh, these are on walls, you have to really kind of time it to actually use them. I lose the motorcycle, which is fine because after a while it can get kind of. He wants a little bit of variety when you're playing this carol, so not always being on the motorcycle. Pretty good. Now, um, it's a complete accident that I just kind of completely avoid the situation of the rock. Though I kind of think they set it up for Carol to do that with their pads, actually. kind of makes sense. Lilac's approach is to outrun it while Carol would just get around it. Makes sense to me. Alrighty. Now I think, yeah, I'm going to start using that attack I talk about. So watch how the claw marks look different color after doing a pounce. See that? That's what you're going for. That's what storm the real damage. That's it for the, my commentary for, on Carol. I'll just let the footage speak for itself for the rest of the playthrough. Hope you guys enjoy it. How many chasers are left? Tell me. You didn't say please. Don't play games with me, duckling. Fine. I guess we'll have to do this the hard way. That was a close one. Thank you, Miss uh, Lila. Miss. L Are you okay? I saw a huge explosion back there. You've been following me this whole time, haven't you? Duh. I take it you know this guy. Girl. This. <laughs> Girl. Well. I'm Guys haven't been safe. Some the yes. Well, yes. Uh, I'll... Right. 